Welcome back everyone. This is Tick stepping back into Anthem after defeating the Heart of Rage. Today we're going to see what it has to offer after you beat the main quest line. A lot of people want to talk to us and then we're going to pick up a contract called Bad Deal. That might be a repeatable, might not, I don't know. Or we might just continue with the main quest line. Challenges of the Legionnaires. Yeah, I think we'll go with the critical objectives. Challenges of the Legionnaires. So let's go ahead and talk to everybody. Then we'll go see what they got to say. You know, you surprised me. How's that? I never questioned your battle skills, but your resolve and mental toughness exceeded my expectations. Thank you, Tassin. Do you know what I like about you? My eyes? What? Uh, no, don't be ridiculous. I'm trying to tell you something important. Sorry, I thought we were connecting. I admire your loyalty. You stuck by your friends and stayed true to Fort Tarsus. That's just the kind of freelancer I am. I agree. Did you know that besides resourcefulness, courage, and intelligence, Corvus values loyalty above all? I do, too. We may have more in common than you think. Are you saying I'd make a good spy? Agent. Right. Agent. No. Working for Corvus is a gift. We are the eyes and ears of Bastion, but it comes with risks. With dying alone, being abandoned by your own government, and in certain times, even reviled as a traitor. You make it sound so fun. You joke, but freelancer life can also be unforgiving. I guess we both have lousy jobs, huh? Yes, but it's a living. Did you just crack a joke? No, I work for Corvus. We never joke. That's what I thought. I'll be in touch. I'm sure you will. Yeah, right. She cracked a joke. There he is. Hero of Fort Tarsus, the heart of rage, no less. I knew he'd bring the thunder. And some lightning along with it, you know, to make a statement. You've been listening. Damn, that makes me proud. You might have rubbed off. To think, when we first met, the forge wouldn't even work. And now, you tamed the mother of all storms. The freelancers are back, and not even the Anthem's temper can stop them. Thanks. Oh, I'm sure some new trouble is bound to come along. In this world, I guarantee it. Not a month goes by, I'm not shaking my head at some crazy thing a Shaper Renick has done. But I'll feel better knowing the freelancers are back in business. We wouldn't be anywhere without the guy selling us a little thunder and lightning. No, I just bottle it. You deliver it. Well, don't ever stop. We'll need plenty of bottles, I'm sure. What I wanted to hear. I'd best get back to it. Don't be a stranger. Very nice. He's a good guy. I like him. Honey. There you are. Heard you got back in one piece. Were you worried? No. Yes. I mean, the Heart of Rage and I have a nasty history. Right. I heard you were in Freemark. You're a great freelancer. But that storm killed some of our best. We can't forget those who died, but... At least no one else will die there. Thank you. It means a lot to me and my brother. You're welcome. Anyway, congratulations. You're a big fish now. You should celebrate. Look around this place. The difference you've made is amazing. Thanks. I especially love that they fixed the Lancer statues in the courtyard. They meant so much to me as a kid. How come? Well, Fort Tarsus was my home and my prison. Safe behind the walls. Day in, day out. But Lancers? Lancers got to see the whole wide world. They were hope. When I felt cold or small, I'd sit across from the statues and my daydreams would warm me up. So, yeah, the fort is feeling better. More like home. Things will only get better from here. Hope so. Will I see you around then? I'll be around. Take care, big fish. Lancers in the courtyard. Let's go take a look. I think that's them, what they were talking about up there. I bet we're being watched. The symposium. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's happening? What's happening? It's glitching out. Glitching out. 
All right, we'll move on from him. Yeah, it's glitching out. Moving on. Hello, freelancer. Hello, Berndle. So, are we both thinking a thank you is in order? Ah, you're welcome. No, I wasn't thanking you. You should be thanking me. The fountain is running. <laughs> you finally did it. Good for you. Thank you. I'm delighted we finally got it flowing. We discovered the problem was that people were siphoning water off our main fountain line. People, huh? Exactly. I think a plumbing bylaw will prevent this from happening in the future. Of course, now that the fountain is flowing, we've run into a new set of problems. All right, what issues are we facing? The water around the fountain's edge is a slipping hazard. That sounds dangerous. It is. I'm considering turning down the fountain. Won't that make it less spectacular? Yes. But sometimes safety comes before spectacular. Or we could install warning signs and erect barriers. That sounds extreme. It's a fine balance between a beautiful oasis and a death trap. What's the logical solution? Survey how many people enjoy the fountain versus how many people are injured. Sounds like a plan. Then we can analyze benefits versus costs and propose recommendations based on our findings. You're very thorough, Berndle. Thank you. It's important to never rush safety. That's how people get hurt. And it is nice to see the fountain running. It really is. And Freelancer, thanks for silencing the heart of rage. No problem. You better leave that fountain alone. It looks good. Madam Chronicler? Ah, you did it. Did what? Silence the heart of rage, my dear. Who'd have thought? Well, I had help, Alec and Faye. Who are you serving with modesty? You did a great thing and you must acknowledge it. As my mentor, Negandel, used to say, you know who Negandel is, of course. You mentioned him once or twice. He was your mentor? Indeed. He was a master cipher, author, activist, and member of the royal family. Sounds like quite a guy. Indeed. And as he used to say, and say to me in particular, let others celebrate your gifts for what is ordinary to you is a miracle to another. I guess so. Things will never be what they were, but they are getting better. And so I shall reward you with the gift of knowledge, of course. Of course. I'd like to present you with an old favorite of mine, the Freelancer Three. It's about as famous as you will be. <laughs> Thanks very much for the book, Madam Chronicler. And now, I should get going. See ya. See ya. Yeah. You can't muster a better goodbye than that. Ah, I believe I can. May bright skies overhead shine light upon your paths, madame. Ooh, bit overboard, perhaps. I'll keep working <laughs> on it. Goodbye, freelancer. Goodbye. Hey, hey, my friend. Alec, feeling okay? Yep, had a bottle of cackleberry wine. Been waiting years to pop it open. <laughs> Needed the right occasion. Ah. <laughs> Faye calls it truth juice, so I'm waiting here for the truth of life to infuse my brain. Hoping the anthem might sing to me. Anyway, so. I once took a whiz in my javelin. Halleck, I think it's a different kind of truth juice. Hey, if you gotta go, you gotta go. Made my bladder gladder right there in the suit. Who hasn't tested the hydraulics out once in a while? <laughs> hydraulics. See? Truth is, I never thought you were funny. At all. Like, ever. Never? Nope. But the truth of your truth is I like you anyway. You're a good friend. Just don't go telling Halleck I said that. Feelings mutual. You're not such a bad guy after all. What? You've been drinking cackleberry wine or something? No. This is me 100% sober. Huh. We need to change that. Hey, it reminds me. I once took a whiz in my javelin. So I've heard. Yeah, but have you heard I'm the Crimson Lancer? Pretty sure they based the whole show on me. Seize your glory, Lancers. Into the maw. Death is just a reunion with old friends. It's uncanny. Right? 
Don't need wine to see that. Oh, he drunk as a skunk. So it looked like when I tried to talk to him before, it glitched it out. So now I've only got one person to talk to in here. So let's go try and talk to him. I take it you got Robin Moore's archive decrypted? We did. Moore discovered a Shaper relic that he called the Auspax. The Symposium wanted it. Moore refused them. They pursued and eventually murdered him. But Moore knew the Symposium was coming. That's why he covered everything up. So the Symposium would never find out he hid the Auspex. I see where this is going. You three know where it is. Yes! Data archive, so much everything. Breathe. What Maddie is trying to say is that Moore's archive tells us where the Auspex is. Wait, what does the Auspex do? Don't know. You'll just have to get there and bring it back so we can examine it. Okay, we're going to accept this quest, but we're not going to do it today. I'll leave it up for a second so you can read through it. Now I'm about to leave, come back, and maybe I can talk to him. It says Earl has a quest for me. Which one is it? I don't know. But on my way back here, I found something in the dungeon. We need to go look. Oh, there's a spyglass out there. What is this? Trials of Taurus unlocked. Taurus and the Sword of Thunder. Okay, it's like a little poem or something. Uh oh, we got something else. Look at this. A lot of stuff popping up. Corvus updated. Blackbird sitting on the wall, watching all the Ursix fall. Did they shout for help or push them down? Secret arm of the Ember Crown. Children's verse. It's kind of uh, creepy. What? Another one? Anzu updated. Oh, look at all these words. I'll leave it up so you can read it for a minute. Feel free to pause it. Alright, that's going to be the last thing we're going to get distracted by. Right here. Trials of Taurus updated. This is another thing. Sword of Thunder. All right, I'll leave it up for a second. So we had two plaques on the walls that gave us updates. Let's get back and get our main quest knocked out. We spend enough time talking to people and reading Cortexes. It's time to shoot some bullets. So, you're the one after all. I thought it might be you. The Grandmaster talked to you? I talked to him, yeah. What's this about? Oh, you've been making waves. Opening the gates of the Fortress of Dawn? Not bad. But reaching the Inner Sanctum? All kinds of wheels started turning in Antium when you did that. What do you mean? Why would anybody in Antium care about me? I mean that wheels literally started turning inside the palace. Arden Vasa built some device to tell him if a worthy Lancer appeared. I hear it told half the city. Great. Now I get to worry about disappointing the Emperor. I told you he'd be watching. Now it's just a question of what you do next. I get the feeling that's where you come in? Well, that depends on you. I guess it's time to properly introduce myself. I'm the law keeper and storyteller for the Legion of Dawn. The Legion is gone. It broke apart centuries ago. The Lancers left the path, it's true. But there have always been a few souls tasked with keeping the Legion alive. Arden Vasa left the wheels ready to turn for a reason. The path of the Legionnaire has been waiting, like the doors at the Fortress of Dawn, for a worthy Lancer. I passed all the tests. I was welcomed into the Legion of Dawn already. Sort of. The trials proved you're worthy to become a Legionnaire, but you're not one yet. You know the stories of General Tusks. Do you know the tales of her most trusted counsel? I've heard their names. Children's stories, but I don't think that's what you're asking. You should know whose footsteps you're following. At the height of the dawn, countless lancers flocked to the banner of General Tarsis. All who had the heart to fight were given a place. 
but a few were more than just lancers. These were the boon companions of Tarsus, walking the path as she did, the legionnaires. I know you're not asking me to become best friends with the late general. In a way, I am. Arden Vasa, builder of the first javelin, the first emperor, Saladin, whose swiftness inspired Corpus, Medero, Magnastral, and Leotrel the Unbroken. They all had one thing in common. They shared the ideals of Helena Tarsis. And you want me to do that too? Follow in their footsteps. Become a legionnaire. So many eyes are watching you. If you can do this, revive the path of the legionnaire, maybe the glory days of the legion are only beginning. We've unlocked some stories. Now we can take on challenges in the spirit of the faithful legionnaires. Okay, sounds like a challenge. Ooh, Path of the Legionnaires. A lot of, a lot of words. I'll give it a second. And that completes Challenge of the Legionnaires. Closed the Heart of Rage and completed the final task of General Tarsus. Learn more about her legacy and create your own through the Challenges of the Legionnaires. Outcome. You've unlocked the stories of General Tarsus. And they can take on challenges of the spirits of the faithful legionnaires. All right, then. That led us to Valor. Challenge, but it's another quest for another time. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you. And we'll be back with more.